Today I will be examining the two-party system during the Taisho democracy era. But first, I will discuss the structure of government from the Meiji constitution. I will be going through private council, prime minister, cabinet minister, the diet, house of representatives, house of peers, and moreover, the military. The private council is a small government body of elites who approved was required for laws. They had direct access to the emperor of Japan and were heavily relied on by the emperor owning to their prejudice and experiences. Each constitution required all laws and cabinet decisions to be agreed to by all ministers. Cabinet is the minister of a government. The die include two parts. First, is House of Representatives. The House of Representatives was elected by those with suffrage, which would eventually include all men over 25 years old. The second part is the House of Peers, which composed of nobility, high taxpayer, famous individuals, and special appointments made by the emperor. The House of Representatives could create and pass laws, which then had to be approved by the House of Peers. If approved, then these laws would move forward to the next stage, the cabinet of minister for consideration. Finally, if the cabinet approved, the law went forward to the emperor and the private council for consideration and possible, possible approval. Most importantly, if any one minister did not agree with the law or decision, they could simply refuse to sign. However, this would cause the government to collapse and new minister to be appointed. Throughout the Meiji era, Japanese, Japan's emperor was like a dictator in the government. However, it created the constitution that was used until 1947. The last emperor, Meiji Tenon, his personal name is Mushihito. He died in July 30th, 1912, he Tokyo. He was born in 1879 at an early age, contract cerebral meningitis. The ill effects of the disease, including physical weakness and absence of mental instability. The illness made him suffer throughout his life, which his first son was named Shihu Hirohito in 1921, became the prince regent. And Hirohito mainly attained meetings and participated in public parades or events. Because of the illness that prevented the emperor from performing any official duties and military gain, significant power during the time period, especially in the role of political. The first party system is called Siukai, which is the left wing. The second party system is called Kensekai, which is the right wing. Believe that cabinet must remain independent of party. In this case, we could tell that Siukai is more liberal. Then he can escape from independence on the Siukai and to manipulate the emperor's authority. In the history recording, he succeeded only in uniting almost everyone against his own dictatorship. We could tell that the Kansakai is more conservative, which is trying to protect the old social order. These are the two-party system. Now, more information. In February 1913, the Siukai launched violent attacks on Kansura in the Diet. Outside the building, thousands riots and storming the office of pro-government newspapers. Kasura resigned. By that time, Sunuji was the leader of Siukai. Since other generals disappeared one by one, Hito had been assassinated in 1909, Yunui Katu died in 1915, Yamagata in 1922, and Masukata in 1924. There was also changes for Kansakai. Kasura survived only a few months after his resignation in 1913. Itakaki died in 1919, and Okama Sunujimu died three years after. In sum, Siukai and Kensukai, the two-party system, did not succeed in the end, since the military was gaining more power and more authority through the emperor. Any questions? Please drop down below. Thank you for listening. Thank you.